welcome back to my channel today it's a new setup we're actually in my bathroom right now it's a very snowy day and in montreal everything is under lockdown so there's really not much to do than pamper yourself so i thought what better day to do a spa day at home so i was literally doing my hair mask and I said, why not film it for you guys to just show you how you could just pamper yourself at home. Just don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And please comment down below what you'd like to see next for me. Let's hop into the video. Okay, so my hair is in a bun right now because I was applying some hair oil. I like to use different kinds of oils. I love using oils as hair mask. So I was using a specific kind of oil from the Camel Glow. It's a girl that I discovered on TikTok and she basically created this oil for hair growth. And I've been losing some baby hair right here on both sides. So I've been using this ever since I got it before the shower and massage it through my hair. But you could definitely use any kind of oil. You could use coconut oil, argan oil. I also have some red pimento oil, which is really good for your hair. Um, castor oil. This is a black Jamaican castor oil. It's supposed to be the best castor oil out there, but you could just get any castor oil. I got all of these on Amazon. I will link them in the description in the description box. As I like oiling the sides of my hair. I just find it easier if my hair is tied up. So they already look pretty oily because I was doing it. But for the sake of the video, I will do it again. So really just focus it on the areas you want hair to grow. If it's a hair oil or just apply it on all your scalp and then start massaging your oils through your hair. Massaging it will promote blood flow to go to the roots and so promote hair growth. So just by massaging it, you could also flip your head over and then massage it. It will bring the blood through your scalp. Or you could also use a wide tooth comb and just go over like this, even a hairbrush. I just prefer using my fingers. And for the bottom of my hair, I'm gonna mix some castor oil because it's very thick with some red pimento oil. You definitely need to mix your castor oil because it is super thick. And if you don't mix it, you could actually tear some hair out. So once that is done, I'm gonna put my hair back into a bun. The looser, the better. Once the hair is done, I'm gonna quickly wash my hands and we're gonna continue to pamper our skin. Before moving on onto the skin, I usually go ahead and turn my bath on. So this is what I'm doing right now. Make sure you choose the right temperature. I also love to add some bath accessories. So some salts or some bath bombs and of course some bubble bath soap. Salt I'm adding is from the Dead Sea, and there's eucalyptus and tea tree oil extract. Meantime, that the bath is filling up, I'm gonna go ahead and clean my face. And first, starting with a cute bunny bandeau. This is so cute. These are supposed to be bunny ears, which is super cute. You could also do it as a bow. I got it at Winners for anyone wondering, but there's plenty of them on Amazon. I have a whole collection. Okay, so I'm gonna clean my face. If there's any oil or makeup left, my favorite cleanser. Stay tuned for my skincare routine that will be coming on next on my channel. Really mix your cleanser with water so that you get a foam. And then you could really clean your skin. Once that is done, I like going in with a face scrub right before I apply my face mask. I just think the mask penetrates the skin better when it's exfoliated. So I'm gonna do that and then come back and we'll apply the face mask together. I love exfoliating my skin. 
really be gentle when you're exfoliating your skin because you don't want to tear your skin. You just want to remove all the dead skin. So don't tug, just go in circular motions and be gentle. Don't forget to tap, tap, tap your skin and never swipe to dry it. Now that my skin is clean and exfoliated, it's really normal by the way that my skin is a little bit red. Now for face mask, I'm debating between totally Vinergetic C Plus mask and this Innisfree Pore Clearing Mask. I've used both in the past. This one is really gentle and I really believe that it works really well and it's very affordable for those who are looking for a clay mask that will deep cleanse their pores and you get a pretty good amount of it. It's supposed to help with like oily skin and really deep cleanse and detox your pores. I actually bought it from TikTok. This one is a pink clay mask. I think I'm gonna go with this one just because it's been a while since I've used it and I'm using this silicone applicator. It looks like a makeup brush, but it's actually made for mask. There we have it. I typically like to keep this on throughout my whole bath time. Really take in this moment to relax and maybe read a book. And once my bath time is done, I will shower, wash my hair really well. Because it's an oil hair mask, I like to do two to three shampoos. And then with the face mask, I also will clean it off. Right before I hop in the bath, I like dimming the lights and light a candle to really create a zen space. And now, just enjoy. Once I'm done with my bath and my shower, I like heading in my room and continue the spa-like atmosphere by lighting a candle and I made sure to hydrate after my bath. Then I got dressed and I picked this really cute pajama set from H&M and turned my electric fireplace on as well as the TV. I'm watching one of my favorite shows, Gossip Girl. And I wanted to wish you guys a happy new year. I hope you guys are excited. Here's my vision board for 2022. Don't forget to do your skincare routine as well as your body care. I love using this coconut conscious cream all over my body. And then I head on to the kitchen to make myself a snack before heading back into my room and enjoying my snack while watching my show. I hope you guys liked watching this video and will try and recreate a spa night at home. Self-care is super important, so don't forget to take care of yourself. I hope you guys stay safe. I love you all and see you next time.